Today, we will be testing the volume with SD2 indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the volume with SD2 indicator. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 49 different strategies with 13 of them being profitable. We've also tested a total of 550 indicators, with 233 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test all of these strategies and indicators on the Forex market but they can be applied to just about any market universally. All right, so today's indicator is the volume with SD2 indicator. And you can see it here on the bottom of the screen. And so the setup on this is relatively easy. What we are looking for is a bar, a volume bar to spike above the purple line. Technically, both the orange and the purple, but the orange and the purple never cross each other. And so the purple is always on top. And so we're looking for a volume bar to spike above that purple line. Now, once that happens, we are looking to the bar itself to determine uh, whether or not it is a red or a green bar. If it is a red bar, then we are going to go short. If it is a green bar, then we are going to go long. And so that's the setup that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this.
All right, so the first signal that we picked up was a long signal right here. You can see that price action pushes up really nicely right there, getting us to take profit. Then we pick up a short right here, but immediately price reverses, takes off to the upside, stopping us out. And then we pick up a short right here. Price action uh, starts to push to the upside just enough to go up and hit our stop before price then drops down in the direction we were looking for uh, price to go in the first place. But unfortunately, that did stop us out on that one. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right, then we pick up a short right here on this one. Price action pushes down, getting us to take profit. Then we pick up a long right here. Price is able to push up just enough to hit our uh, take profit on that one before price rolls over and starts to take a, a slide to the downside there. All right, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and fast forward the testing. That way things don't get too long. And we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that puts us at the end of the year right there. Before we add these up, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in excelling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon-only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon-only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, trading philosophy in general. Our admin, Jay, and some of the regular members post regular market analysis where they put up screenshots of charts where they've marked out areas of support and resistance, indicators that they're using exactly when they're entering trades, exiting trades, taking profits, the whole deal. They're growing small accounts really quickly with the information that they're putting out for everyone to see. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested that we have recently had transferred over into an Excel sheet. And so you get access to the Excel sheet and the PDF of all the indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. And you'll get access to a Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested. That shows exactly which strategies were winners, which ones were losers, their win rates, as well as links to go back and review those individual videos. And another new thing that we've been doing here recently is one of our other members has put together a small handful of profitable optimized indicators that we are giving away to all the patrons for free. So there is a ton of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. All right, so that puts us at the end of the year right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here, there, and there. There we go, let's go ahead and count these out and see what we get out of it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine trades all together. And we have one, two, three, four, and five. Five winning trades. And so unfortunately that is not going to meet the 60% criteria, got pretty close. Uh, this indicator was doing all right. I mean, it's a volume indicator and so it is what it is. Uh, gave us nine trades, which was eh, an okay amount of trades as well, but just wasn't able to do so uh, very accurately. Uh, it's possible, you know, with a couple other indicators, it would uh, be helpful just as confirmation. But all in all, um, I think there are better indicators out there to get us where we need to be. And so, unfortunately, this one is going to go on the no list, and we will move on to the next indicator from here.